about a year ago, I made a video on why I hate difficulty settings, and, well, it was called Difficulty Settings Suck with this thumbnail. Which is very ironic, because the video itself sucked. These types of games push you to your limit and throw you against some of the biggest challenges you can imagine, even harder than getting up in the morning. That's right, the Proxidus channel is now hashtag relatable. Trying to watch your own content that's more than a week old is like a form of torture for content creators. I swear to god. In that video, I mainly just tug off from software because every time they release a new game, there's always a huge discussion on whether or not they should have an easy mode. Well, there's a very good reason as to why I tugged them off for that exact reason. And I'm gonna do it again, but I want to do it far better in this video rather than that slot before. So the common consensus of From Software games is that they're super hard, like sometimes unfairly hard as some people would say. And honestly, there are moments within the games where they can actually be unfair, I'm not gonna lie. But these moments are very few and far between. See, there's a catch with From Software games though. They do actually have difficulty settings. It's just they aren't something you select at the start of the game. Instead, it's how you want to play it. Elden Ring is the best example of this. There's many different mechanics within the game that can make it significantly easier or harder. For example, within Elden Ring, you can summon other players or NPCs and spirit ashes, which basically act as Pokemon within the universe. You can summon shit ranging from wolves, an old decrepit man who's trying his absolute best, and even yourself with the Mimic tier, who is the absolute GOAT. Hell, you could even add on to this easy mode by playing as a magic-centered character. I love standing back casting spells, it's so fun. The left bumper on my controller is covered in sweat and grease because it's the only button I press as a magic character. There's no normal way to play Elden Ring, but I think the closest way you'd get to playing it on a normal difficulty is just by using a raw strength build without any summoning. And then if you're truly a masochist and want it to be quote unquote hard, then you play with fists no, only. Or do a soul level one run. Holy shit, some of these people are insane with the ways they try and make Elden Ring more of a challenge. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think Elden Ring would suffer if it did have an easy difficulty you could select at the start. Let me, let me explain, because it's, it's kind of complicated what I'm trying to say here. Because if you were to ask me if Elden Ring should have an easy mode right now, my answer would still be no. But there's a nuanced argument as to why I wouldn't object to one. And it all comes down to accessibility and helping people who might have problems that gives them a huge disadvantage when it comes to playing games, be it a physical or mental disability. And I think it's important to let them have a chance to experience the beauty that is Elden Ring. Never mind the Souls series. I think the biggest problem with this discussion is the journalists using it as an excuse so they can rush through the game and create a shitty ass review before everyone else. This easy mode doesn't even need to be something that you select at the start from the menus. No, I mean it's a From Software game. The way they'd do it is they'd make it some starting gift being an item called like, Tarnished Butt Plug or something. I don't fuck it. I I can't think of something good for this. But it'd be an item that you could just equip as like a talisman, for example, and it'd just make the game easier. And it could be disabled when someone invades or they get summoned, so the balancing doesn't get all fucked up, which, oh yeah, by the way, this video is actually about the problems I have with difficulty settings in most games. I mean, as you could see by the title, probably kind of confused because I just went on a ramble about Elden Ring and From Software for like three minutes i don't know how long it is and i don't know how far <laughs> i don't know how far this will be in the video honestly that entire ramble leads nicely onto the fact that i don't have a problem with the easy difficulty in most games that have the option as they're a good way to open up a game to a wider audience like i said my main problem is with the normal and hard difficulties i also want to make it clear that this video is all just my opinion on the topic there's a very high chance you'll disagree or hell maybe even agree with the absolute bollocks i'm about to spout but hey i'll at least try and make it entertaining for you all I'm trying my best. The first thing I want to complain about is why most hard difficulty options just have had no thought or effort put into them. A lot of these stem from the easy difficulty of the game. They just see that they usually just increase the player's damage and reduce the enemies to make the game more accessible for someone to enjoy the game's narrative. But they don't realise it doesn't work for the opposite with the harder difficulty. Rather than it being accessible for masochists like they want it to be, it instead just becomes a miserable, borderline depressing experience. It's not even that it makes the game quote unquote harder, instead just making it artificially difficult. 
One of the games that is one of the best examples when it comes to this is God of War 2018. I think it's even worse with how it names its difficulty, with its hardest, most miserable difficulty being called Give Me God of War, which is insanely misleading considering the fact when you select it, it doesn't start you on a boat with a better camera angle, at least that's what I'd hope would happen when I select the difficulty. No, instead you're in a mode where even the most basic enemies take what feels like an absolute lifetime to kill. It's very clear nobody playtested this shit, and if anyone beat God of War 2018 on Give Me God of War difficulty, holy shit, props to you, but at the same time, how the fuck did you have the patience? You don't even get a trophy for beating it, why did you even bother? So many of the hardest difficulties in most games have this problem. They add absolutely nothing new, there's almost no reason to replay the game on this harder difficulty other than for an achievement usually, because locking an achievement or trophy behind an artificially difficult draining slugfest is such a fun, epic, stupendous time. Obviously, there are a few games that get the hardest difficulty right and don't actually change too much too, like the Halo games on Legendary. They don't add anything new to the game with the difficulty, and yes, you take more damage, but the enemies still take the exact same amount as they would on Heroic or even Normal, depending on which Halo game you're playing. I I'm not talking about Halo 2. Uh, don't play that game on Legendary. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing in that Snuggie? Sir going blanky mode. To actually increase the difficulty in a non-artificial way for Legendary, they made it so the enemy's AI gets far more smarter and aggressive on the difficulty, pushing you to think far more tactically during your playthrough, making you play Halo completely different, and adding to the replayability, successfully making a hard difficulty. Now that I think about it, there's a specific genre of games that don't fall into the trap of having a horrible hard and normal difficulty, and that's the survival horror genre. There's a multitude of different examples that I could use within this genre. And in fact, a lot of the hardest difficulties aren't even the hardest difficulties. No, instead there's usually one above that focuses around some sort of gimmick or challenge. For example, the Evil Within's hardest difficulty, Akumu, which is Japanese for Nightmare. It's a fitting title because in this mode, you die in one fucking hit. I actually beat this mode. I only died like 236 times. It was still better than playing on Give Me God of War, let me tell you. Oh, and of course there's the Dead Space remake with its impossible difficulty, where if you die, you have to restart the entire game. You can cheese this by returning to the menu just as you're about to fully die during one of the drawn out gruesome death animations. Enough positives though, I actually have some problems with the gimmick challenge hard difficulties too. Most games don't want them to be a nice fun challenge that will kick you in the balls sometimes. No, instead they want to kick you in the balls multiple times and slowly give you testicular torsion. Let's loop back around to Halo again. Holy shit, the lasso difficulty. For this, you need to turn all skulls on while playing on Legendary. And like I said earlier, Legendary difficulty is a fun, balanced challenge, but with all skulls on, it just becomes a shit show. The skulls act as modifiers that do shit like make your crosshair and gun disappear, and make you restart the entire mission when you die. And let me tell you, you're gonna die. Oh, and while we're on the topic of this, we can't forget Wolfenstein 2 with its Mindleben difficulty. If you watched any achievement or trophy hunting video regarding this game, you already fucking know how horrific it is. It's like the Dead Space difficulty where if you die you have to restart the entire game. Well, Dead Space is a slow, methodical survival horror game where you're already at a disadvantage to begin with. Wolfenstein 2 is a run and gun shooter where you're forced to play cautiously on Mindleben in an incredibly boring way. I don't get this because Doom Eternal has the exact same difficulty, this time called Ultra Nightmare, but it feels far more balanced this time around for that game. So I don't entirely know what happened with Wolfenstein 2. I mean, I guess it's Wolfenstein 2 anyway. It's like the biggest mixed bag ever created. Here's a shameless plug. There's one game specifically that fixes all of these difficulty settings issues that I have, and that game is Resident Evil 4, with a lovely thing it has called Adaptive Difficulty. The way this works is there's basically a line, and on the far left of that line is the easiest difficulty. On this difficulty, enemies are quite placid and you don't take too much damage. In the middle of the line is the normal difficulty, where it's, well, normal. Enemies act fairly aggressive and you take a fair amount of damage. Then just a bit further along that line is hard, where enemies are a bit more aggressive and you take a bit more damage than usual. Finally on the far right is the professional difficulty where enemies are at their peak aggression and you die in like two hits. Depending on what difficulty you choose at the start of this game is where you're put on the line. 
And during your playthrough, the game takes into account how well you're playing or certain mistakes you make and adjusts where you are on the line in a natural way, depending on these factors. Making playing through the game feel natural, preventing roadblocks while also giving you the illusion of beating something you've been struggling on. This doesn't happen on professional difficulty though. No, yeah. it just stays there. It doesn't move even if you die like a hundred times. I know from experience. Point I'm trying to get at in this video is difficulty settings can be absolutely amazing and when they take advantage of utilizing and mastering a game's mechanics, all naturally adapts to how the player is playing the game. But the vast majority of games don't care about this and they just don't bother with any of it, leading to difficulty settings that just aren't fun. This is all just my opinion at the end of the day, uh, let me know what you all think down in the comments below. But before I go, I just want to say that I have a Patreon where I post early previews for videos, and for one of the levels on the Patreon, I'll put your name at the end of every video just like this. 